Hi my loves, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's spirit guide reading. For this reading, we're going to be working with a lot of decks. Um, feeling really called to use Psychic Tarot, Connected and Free, Universal Mind, as well as just the regular tarot deck. I pulled a specific crystal for your reading. This is an angel aura. And I'm going to sit in silence for a couple seconds to connect. And I wanted to just um, put that on the video because I don't usually do that for the spirit guides. I usually do that before the reading. But for you, we're going to we're going to do that. And see what comes through. So I'm seeing a lot of green floating over trees and I keep hearing she hasn't seen what she needs to see. She's oblivious to what's around her. I feel like the, the significance of the greenery is about earth energy. Earth energy is grounding. But because I'm seeing it above, I'm seeing like 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 as if it was the point of view of a bird. So perhaps your spirit guide is revealing themselves to you as an animal in flight. A bird, an insect, like a butterfly. Something that flies. And because of the nature aspect, um, I feel like it's they're calling to you to spend time outdoors when you connect with them. You're oblivious to what's around you. It could be that your guide is asking you to open your eyes. And not your regular eyes, but your third eye. The way that you connect spiritually and energetically and psychically. When I get <clears throat> messages from spirit, it's symbols. Um, and then I hear things, but I like to interpret the images that I see symbolically. is on the card a bird <laughs> this is opportunity birth it's a plant and it's green <laughs> fun and it's a feather we just connected with your guide okay so what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm going to pull the rest of the cards and then we're just going to start with your reading. So just be patient while I continue shuffling and just getting all of your cards ready. to work in threes so we'll pull three from each deck I'm starting to see the reasons for why I feel called to like put the cards out in that order um, I'm starting to see the reasons why your guide is saying you're oblivious to everything around you Ooh. 
Maybe that means we shouldn't even shuffle. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, your spirit guide is coming to you in the form of a bird. So perhaps this is something that you were familiar with. Maybe birds are sentimental to you. Um, birds are significant. Perhaps you have them around you. You 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 always see them. You notice them. Um, so perhaps that is the way the way your guide is communicating with you is through the form of birds. So if you've noticed them, if you've been noticing them, if you've been noticing feathers, it's them trying to get your attention. Now what I'm seeing with the cards is your guide is basically saying that there is an opportunity for a rebirth. Okay, there's an opportunity on the horizon and there is going to be growth and expansion from this. But what I also am seeing is the fun card and to me your guide is saying they want you to approach this situation this event with a fun point of view they want you to be excited they want you to not be restricted they don't want you to be overly cautious of your choices and of your future they want you to go through with this opportunity this opportunity for growth and expansion from a fun excited perspective rather than being cautious okay she's oblivious to what is around her i feel like your guide was saying this because you are mentally and physically um distracted you were busy okay mentally with the nine of swords i feel like you have a lot on your mind you have a laundry list of things that are just bothering you right now. You are overworked and you are working on overdrive. You are working super hard. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I do feel that because you are piling up all of your responsibilities, all of your expectations, it's actually caused you to close your psychic abilities. You, it closes your energy field. Almost like I feel like your aura has been sucked in like a vacuum. Um, and I love it because the Queen of Cups is, she's all about your um, psychic abilities, being in touch with your heart, in touch with your emotions, your intuition. Um, she's the Queen of Water and water is all about emotion and energy. And I feel like that is what is being um, restricted because you were so busy mentally and physically with these other things. And I feel like that's what your guide is wanting you to know. You are oblivious to what's around you. You are not allowing fun, growth and opportunity because you have so much of this stuff. It's like you're suffocating in it. That's powerful. Um, your guide is definitely female. I also feel um, the Queen of Cups really does display their um, their physical or their a personality so um if you know much about the tarot or you you know my homework for you after this reading is to google or if you have a book on the cards read up on the queen of cups your guide is female and they are very nurturing but they are very much queen of cup energy they help you with your spirit they help you with like I, i'm noticing my amethyst um your psychic connection okay Next, we have um, from the Psychic Tarot, this is beautiful because what I'm seeing is prosperity begins. It is the same as what I was seeing with the birth, growth, newness coming, but it's also the trees that I was seeing in, you, in the vision I got before we started your reading. Isn't that so cool? So I do feel like your spirit guide is saying there is time for growth. You are going to be planting new seeds opportunities are going to be rising up um, and you will be able to see new stuff happening but you can't approach it in a restricted manner you really need to approach it in a fun 
like a fun way. L allow yourself to have fun. Let your hair down. Don't worry so much about whatever this stuff is. Don't worry so much about all of the hours and time you're putting into work. You really have to let loose. I, I, I just got the image of um, untying knots, okay? We have authority and we have hope. I really feel this message is saying in reinstilling that hope in yourself, gaining back control of your life because I feel like you've lost it or you've started to notice that about yourself, that you started to lose control of the good things and why you even do what you do and why you enjoy what you do. So I do feel like your guide is saying to fall in love with yourself again and to regain your power. Have hope that it's gonna come back to you. Um, and then from the universal mind, I pulled the universal mind. <laughs> this is the card that flew out, okay? And to me, this reminds me of one of the locations I love to imagine myself standing in front of the Pyramid of Giza. Um, when I meditate and I love that it has both the sun and the moon, it's like the lightness and the dark. So I really feel like, um, this card was revealed because since I use it as my sacred space when I meditate, I feel like this is where spirit wants to meet you, um, surrounding yourself in a meditative space where you can visit them in meditation, um, allow them to take you on a journey through your meditation and trust every image and every word and feeling that comes to you from this meditation. We also have quench. <laughs> quench goes with the water, which is what your guide is all about, the water element. But when you are quenching, you are thirsty, right? You are drinking in, you are absorbing like a sponge. In this case, the image is rainfall. And it's raining over, what is this? A bunch of trees. Just like in the, medi um, the <laughs> not the meditation, the image that I saw. I love it. It's, it almost gives me chills because of how accurate <laughs> um, of the message. So I do feel like, you know, spending some time outdoors, requenching your thirst for spirituality to connect a chance for you to escape from all of the stress. It's a powerful, powerful message, my love. And we also pulled less is more. I think, oh, I feel, okay, Spirit just said, when you are trying to connect psychically, you, you go at it too hard. Um, Spirit says, like, you make it more than what it needs to be. So I feel like the less is more card of spirit telling you it's simple. All you have to do is quiet your mind. Just like I did before, before your reading, I literally was sitting here and I was holding one of my crystals. I felt connected for you. Um, you sit there and you set the intention. I want a message. Sit in silence and just feel yourself. What comes through your mind? What comes into your heart? What are you seeing? As simple as that. Less is more. When you connect with your spirit guide, less is definitely more in this aspect. Powerful, powerful message. Um, okay, I want to, let's dive in on the opportunity. This opportunity that spirit is talking about. When is this going to happen? Give us a timeline, the energy, and let's see. And, you know, perhaps you already know what this opportunity is. Perhaps it's something you've been waiting for. Perhaps it's an answer from spirit to you. But whatever the case may be, you need to prepare yourself for it and take that risk and the full card comes to mind. Take that risk. There she is again.
Oh yeah, this opportunity is going to recall is going to call for you to move, either physically, or just walking away from your comfort zone. You got twos. You're going to be indecisive for a little bit. It's going to be a little hard for you to, you know, take that leap of faith. The two of wands is regarding um, looking outside of your boundaries. This individual standing beside the, a wall that is acting as their boundary, be willing to journey into somewhere else. Powerful. Don't procrastinate. This is exactly the kind of energy that your guide, as she is facing the Four of Cups, it's like she's almost telling you, don't procrastinate. Don't let it, the opportunity pass you up. And then we have Ace of Swords. Your truth and honor, inspiration will hit. <laughs> it's powerful. The cards just sing. They truly sing the message. Victory and success, firm foundation, spiritual union. The spiritual union between you and your guide. Having a firm foundation, perhaps this will involve moving, relocating, you never know. Or it could just be Strengthening your current foundation. Victory and success. It's a path that will lead you to a lot of good things. So if you're worried about that, don't be worried about it. You're going to be okay. Vulnerable. Layers the lesson and it's a bird the lesson is what your guide is teaching you the layers and vulnerable being vulnerable and allowing yourself to be vulnerable in order to experience new stuff to take risks to go on the adventure and finally Um, by the way, the card numbers were 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it's going to be a consecutive event. So could be the next 2 to 4 months. Or 1 to 4 months. <laughs> Opportunity. Birth. <laughs> Fun. I just shuffled these cards. And the same ones came up. So your guide is being very urgent with you. That this is truly the message for you to hear. I love it. I'm really excited for you, my love. I think that this is going to be really good for you. We need to shake it up a little bit. You need some newness. You need some new stuff happening in your life. So I think that this is going to be good for you. Um... Let me know if you have any questions about your reading. Um, I will be able to answer as much as I can. Um, and I hope that you're able to connect. Remember, don't make it harder than it needs to be. Just take it simple and slow. Your guide is very connected to your third eye, very intuitive. So I feel like they won't have a hard time planting those little messages for you. It's just about you receiving it. So with that, my love, I will let you go. 
and anyone who's watching this is a spirit guide reading if you are interested in having one done um please click the link in my description and i will read for you soon bye my loves